My next question from Twitter about PhDs comes from Anne McLeod. Hi Anne. And Anne asks, what are the reasons that universities are pushing PhDs instead of professional doctorates? Now Anne, that's a really interesting question. Some people may doubt your premise, but in some ways I don't. And as we all know, there are lots of different types of PhDs or doctoral qualifications at the moment. There's the traditional big thesis, the 80, 100,000 word behemoth. There's a DCA, a Doctor of Creative Arts, that can either involve a single self-standing creative work like a film or can involve a film or creative artefact and exegesis. We have the professional doctorates. We have PhDs by prior publication. And we also have the more traditional format of an artefact and an exegesis whereby we have some type of portfolio object and then about 40,000 words talking about it. So we have all sorts of PhDs that are available to us through different types of regulations around the world. Apologies for the car. There's different modes, there are different lengths, there are different expectations and indeed different examination protocols to manage and to handle that diversity. Now, one of the reasons I think that the, the professional doctorate in particular is losing some of its credibility from its height is I believe it involves coursework. Now, what's happening as doctoral programs in particular have been increasingly validate it and have a whole series of quality assurance protocols around them is that anything involving coursework in a doctoral program is sort of seen to bring the quality down a little bit. Now, as we know, doctorates involving professional doctorates in particular have coursework. So that's one of the reasons I think that the credibility of them is lacking. By the way, I love uh, professional doctorates. I think they're tremendous. I've supervised them. I've examined them. I love them. But I'm just offering a more meta commentary about it. But why I think that coursework argument is pretty silly is obviously in North America, in all doctoral programs, there is a hell of a lot of coursework. So the problem is not just coursework work alone. My argument is that the real challenge that we confront, an Australian ute, welcome to Australian masculinity, one of the challenges particularly I think that exists in how our doctorates have changed in the last 10 years or so is we now have a PhD and all the different types of modes are now being stuffed into that PhD. So what that means is you could have all these different titles and types and modes of doctorates and everybody's happy because you know what it is because it's written on the tin. So a professional PhD, you know what it is. A DCA, you know what it is. But now what's occurring is there is this generic doctor of philosophy and all these different modes and types of analysis are actually being put within it. So it means most of us really don't know what we're marking and examining or indeed supervising a lot of the time. So, and what I think is occurring is applied research by its very nature tends to be disrespected and the portfolio nature of professional doctorates, so the doctor of education, the doctor of psychology, really is out of time or out of phase with the heavy surveillance, the heavy monitoring that is occurring in doctorates at the moment. So I think that's why universities are moving away from them, or indeed students are moving away from enrolling in them, because the doctor of philosophy in and of itself is starting to become this all-encompassing term. So I think of it like a sausage. You know, in the old days, well, 10 or 15 years ago, it used to be clear you had a sausage that was a doctor of philosophy, a sausage that was a professional doctorate, a doctorate that was a PhD by prior publication. They were all very understandable sausages. Now what's happening is there's one bloody sausage. There is a doctor of philosophy and all this different stuff is being put into that particular sausage package. And I think that's a problem. I would love the day again where the professional doctorate, the doctor of education, the doctor of psychology, the doctor of law, is seen to be this fascinating, self-standing, high-quality applied research with a portfolio and with a synopsis or exegesis of type. Do I think that moment will come back? Probably not. Should it? Yeah. But Anne, great question and good on you for recognising and remembering the value of a professional doctrine. Great question.